Hi guys, it's Gene here. I want to talk briefly about using the snap cut to avoid one-handing your chainsaw. It's a great cut and there's no need to one-hand your chainsaw. So let's take a quick look at uh, one of my former employees. Okay, so the editor that I hired, Alejandro, uh, who obscured the identity of the operator, he cut off the video. You didn't hear me shouting at him. Why aren't you making a snap cut and why are you one handed? Um, you can see he's doing a pretty complicated extraction here. A live oak failure up here in the uh, upper upper left hand corner. You can see. So the, the, the kicker is that he had been uh, he had just made a beautiful snap cut uh, just before. Watch this. The, the, just the immediate previous cut. Here he sheathes his saw. Bingo, beautiful snap cut, right? So when I rolled up, you know, this guy was one handed and I was like, why aren't you snap cutting? And so he started snap cutting and he made that beautiful snap cut, but his very next cut was a one hand. And I think like his excuse was because he was so close to the crotch and he couldn't get around to the other side to make the snap. I'm not really buying that. I know he was in a tight spot. M most of us have been in similarly tight spots. I really think you can just snap cut this. Uh, before I end the video, I just briefly want to talk about the educated climber. He does a nice video about snap cutting, does a couple of examples. The real point that I want to make is shout up at your climber and say, dude, why are you one-handed when you've got a much safer alternative? Um, snap cut and make you look like you really know what you're doing. You stow your saw and you snap it clean. It's beautiful. Everybody's like, wow. It's got a wow factor and it's safer, believe it or not. So here we go. Here's the very first example. And then on the other side. Now, I just want to make one other point here, which is, you know, do things the same way every time. When you're making your first cut, cut on the bottom of the bar. You're making your second cut, you know, that's fine. If you can, always work off the bottom of the bar whenever you can. It's, you can't always, I understand that. This particular case, I think his first cut could have been on the bottom of the bar, um, as uh, in this case right here. Um, now, and always do your, like, always cut first, the, the, you know, the bottom one in the direction, if you want to push it away from you, do the bottom one first. If you want to push it towards you, do the bottom one first. So I'm not saying don't always do the backside first or don't always do the hinter side first. I'm just saying, you know, use the bottom of the bar every time if, if you can. So let's take a quick look at this next one. Right? around it here. Okay, good. And then we're going to see one more. Beautiful. Bottom of the bar. This is the way you should... That's the way I feel like you should have done it in the very first example, right? Beautiful. Bottom of the bar. And then I don't think we see the snap here. 
All right, good. So thank you very much. That was a great video. That's uh, the educated climber. Got a lot of followers. I just want to reiterate, fellas, I want you to shout up at your guys and say, do a snap cut. Stop one hand in. All right? Shout up there. Say something. Okay? Just show it to you one last time, the proper snap cut. You can see he struggled with it a little bit. You know he hasn't been doing it on a routine basis. Watch right here. He's still in his saw, and he's going to snap it. It doesn't come on the first try. Bang, there it is. Beautiful. Thanks for watching.